All right, so we got NHL 24 official gameplay overview trailers. We're gonna take a I bet you guys didn't know that I used to play NHL on my Xbox 360. The first NHL, the first NHL game I ever played was uh, NHL 7. It was NHL 07. And uh, I used to, um, I used to main the Detroit Red Wings, Red Wings because. Um, Obviously, Indiana, they don't have the a, a hockey team. The NHL 24 season is officially so the upon Hawks us. Let's take a deep Wings. dive into all of the new features that NHL 24 has to offer. My name is Asher. I'm a hockey and NHL content creator, and I had the oh, chance nice. to play NHL 24. I'll be showing you raw overhead gameplay so you can see how the game plays, and I'll give you my right, thoughts see. as well. I also sat down with the lead creative director of NHL 24, Mike Inglehart, who's going to give us some insight as to why they made these changes. Let's okay. go ahead and jump into this thing the Let's biggest go. change without a doubt to how the game plays this year is the exhaust engine and everything that falls underneath that this new okay. system is meant to emulate those real nhl shifts where pucks are pinned in the offensive zone for an extended period of time as the offense builds oh. up pressure by taking shots completing hits and holding possession of the puck a meter will fill right there in the middle of the ice once yeah. that bar is all the way full you'll get an adrenaline effect on offense improving your passing your shooting and your speed oh. Oh, that's, that's pretty offense, cool. Offense, but the defensive team is going to be pinned as well, affecting their skating and stamina. Mike talked about some oh. of the issues defense will face, as well as how to defuse the situation. Defensively, you're going to be hit with a pinned effect, so a bit of lactic acid in the legs, your stamina is going to burn off a bit, a bit quicker, and you got 30 seconds to make the most of it, but the defensive team can defuse it with getting the puck out of the blue line for five seconds continuously. Oh, this okay. is essentially okay. a game within a game, as you're not only battling to score goals and play hockey as normal, so the but you're full also pressure thing is like a, it's like a boost, really, for, Once for, it's all for the, the offense. There's no doubt about it. You can actively see and feel the difference right there on the ice. Also, the energy bar have now been moved underneath the player so you can see when the defense is struggling it is actively mm -hmm. blinking red and that's when you know oh you gatorade symbol of the just flushing right While now playing the game this really does become a battle and on defense you are doing everything in your power to get the puck out of the zone Speaking okay. of that, on defense, the way to end this sustained pressure is simple. All you have to do is clear the puck out of the zone for five seconds. I saw a okay. lot of questions about this, and the answer is no. Icing the puck does not reset the meter, so you will go to the faceoff, and that bar will still be full. Not I was about to cheese. The impacted by the exhaust engine, but also I was about to cheese. As well. Let's have Mike hop in to discuss how the fatigue can affect the goalies just as much, if not more, than the players. So I don't goalies think... Will now have uh, visible energy levels in the game, shots on net, getting them moving left and right will start to peter out their, their uh, stamina. Okay. Uh, this will affect their precision, so their ability to make saves accurately. So you're going to see more rebounds. You're also going to see the goalies start to I don't change think that their should stance, be. Okay. the type of saves that they throw. And at the end of the day, we should see more goals score from more dangerous places on the ice and remove some of that predictability we've seen with the goal scoring in the past. So there you have it. Not only does the exhaust engine affect the players, but it affects the goalies just as much. When tired, the goalies okay, become a little uh, bit slower on those post-to-post -post movements, but where you really see it is with the rebounds and the desperation saves. If a low shot is taken on net and the rebound bounces across the crease, an energized goalie will be able to shift over and make that save as they should. If a goalie is fatigued during that same opportunity, they're going to be way more likely to go for that crazy diving desperation save. Now, occasionally, those desperation saves will work i saw some of the craziest saves that i have ever seen in hockey video games but in terms of actually playing and what happens most of the time as it should the goalie is left lost the net is left open and you can bury a lot of those rebound goals as Mike mentioned, the issue in NHL 23 was the predictability of a lot of the goals. People would wait for that picture-perfect shot, whether that be a cross crease or cutting across the net. Goals are going in in a variety of different ways, and Mike's noticing that in their testing as well. But as you see the goalies start to become a bit more active and leave the, the net wide open, you should be incentivized to put the puck towards the net. So uh, you don't always have to work the puck in tight. You can take shots from the point. You can work it high. But isn't that like the most, we are isn't that like the, balanced, like the, uh, like the most fun way though? With goalie fatigue, it allows you to personalize your game and get a bit more okay. creative. You might take more of those unique off angle shots because it's going to wear that goalie down. Okay. 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 Right. Cause I mean, listen, I've been playing like, uh, like I said before, whenever I was talking, right? I, like uh, the first hockey game I ever played was NHL Seven on Xbox 360, right? Brother, it was nearly impossible to score on that game. I'm, well, okay, 
I wouldn't say impossible, but it was really hard to score, bro. Especially against the computer, bro. If you're not, if you're playing on like, like the hardest difficulty, bro, it, bro, you are not scoring. Do you understand me? And so growing up and stuff like that, like playing like different like hockey games so far, so on. I've, I listen. I'll be real. I haven't played hockey. I played NHL since NHL 17. I'll keep it real, you know. But I've always been interested in it, you know. Um, I would say that to have a goalie fatigue, right? See, that could be cheese, bro. Because what if my opponent, all he does is come down the ice and he just shoots. But knowing that my goalie is going gonna, is, is gonna to keep saving it, keep saving it, keep saving it. And then when he actually tries to score on me, my goalie is fatigued. So, like, he could just cheese it, basically. He can literally just go up, make the, uh, make the goalie save a bunch of... of the, uh, he, obviously, the goalie's not going to let the puck go through the net. So, the goalie's going to keep saving it, saving it, saving it, saving it, saving it. But then, you know, the goalie's going to get fatigued. So, all I have to do is go down go down the ice and then do a little do a little flip-flap, do a little... Uh, I, I, listen, I'm not really a big... Um, uh, well, I do like hockey, but I'm not really a big hockey fan to the point to where I know all the terms, but... You guys know whenever it's like a 2v1 against the goalie, right? And uh, let's say this is the goalie. And let's say this is me. You guys know like whenever like, you go down, da, 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 and there's one person coming on the other side. And like you hurry up and like pass it to the other person. And he, and he, like, he just slaps it in. I don't know what that's called. But like, bro, he, I could basically just do that all day. Like the first, like the first, um, the first like intermission or whatever, I can literally just make the goalie. Just like save a bunch of my stuff and then get the goalie fatigue and then it's over. That's what I can do if that's the case based off this game, you know. Um, but I can't lie though, honestly, to all you NHL you know fans out there, I will literally sweep all you guys. Um, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, uh, yeah, honestly, you know. So, um, uh, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so what I was, as I was saying was the whole goalie fatigue thing. I guess I mean if they're if if they're wanting to be fair or if they're wanting to be real like if they wanted to be if they're wanting to make everything like more realistic and stuff like that I guess the goalie fatigue makes sense but at the end of the day this is a video game you know and I feel like goalies you know I feel like they shouldn't really get fatigued you know I feel like they should just like if you if you beat the goalie you beat the goalie I, I just feel like you know I don't want that to be the only you know thing I don't I don't I don't want to make the goalie get fatigued then hit the thing no i want to hit a good shot on the goalie and it actually goes in the net that's what i want to do maybe i'm you know maybe i'm just coming from like a a certain like way of thinking or whatever maybe i'm just wanted to just take the harder way i guess but like i just feel like that it would be more it would be way more fun for me to just like uh get like a really good shot on the goal on uh on the goalie and just hit it instead of just you know, waiting for the goalie to get fatigued and, you know, doing all, doing this all, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's what I think about that. Um, other than that, so far, it looks pretty cool. Like, they have, like, the little energy bars at the bottom. Like I said, I haven't played NHL in a few years. So, you know, if, if I'm missing something, if, if you know, if, if I'm lacking information, uh, make sure you guys, uh, you know, comment down below, criticize me, do whatever you want. You know, just don't call me out my name before you get sent straight to the block party. But other than that, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction to this. I'm actually pretty excited for NHL to come out because I'm actually going to buy it this year. Uh, so that's actually pretty cool. But uh, other than that, yeah, um, that's really about it. That's really what all I got to say. Um, I, you know, yeah, that's really, that's really about it, man. Comment down below. What do you guys think about NHL 24 overhead? I said overhead. Overview gameplay trailer. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for knowing I'm out. And...